Okay, this is the second video on interval notation, so uh, hopefully you watched the first one. And in this video, I want to talk about the types of intervals that you can have. We do have some names for the intervals based upon uh, whether the numbers in the interval are included or not included, and whether infinity is involved or infinity is not involved. Okay, so we have two types. We have what we call bounded intervals. Okay, and basically what bounded intervals are meaning, means there's no infinity involved anywhere. So neither the value on the left or the value on the right includes infinity. As soon as you recognize that, then that interval is considered to be a bounded interval. Okay, well then that seems to bring on the next one and the next question. The other type of interval are unbounded. So what do you think is true? about unbounded intervals. Well, that means there must be infinity in either the left or the right side of the interval. All right? So bounded interval means uh, no infinity is involved. Unbounded intervals are where infinity is involved. And actually, we only have three types. We have what we call a closed interval, an open interval, and then we have what we call half open intervals, okay? And this applies to both, okay? Well, two of them apply to both, one doesn't. So, a bounded interval can be closed, a bounded interval can be open, or a bounded interval could be half open, okay? Which one of three? And it's all based upon what kind of uh, symbols are there, meaning are the uh, numbers included, meaning you have a bracket, or the numbers not included, which means you have a parenthesis. So if both numbers are included, that's a closed interval. Okay, both numbers are included, that's a closed interval. If both numbers are not included, that's an open interval. Okay, very simple. If you have one or the other, meaning if the one on the left is closed and the one on the right is open, or the other way around, this would be considered a half open bounded interval. So they list four types in your book. There's really only three because they count each one of these as separate ones. Now those are for bounded intervals. What about unbounded intervals? And unbounded intervals are a little bit different because you remember with infinity you can never use a bracket. So you're always going to have one of the two being open or being not included. So we only have two types of intervals when we're looking at unbounded, they're either going to be closed or they're going to be open. And a closed interval is where you have a number that's included and then you have infinity. Okay, so it could either go that way or you have infinity this way, but this number is included. Notice you have an included symbol and an included symbol. Uh, both the infinities are open because we can't close off infinity. This would be considered a closed, unbounded interval. Okay? The other one happens to be if this number over here is not included along with infinity, or again, if you switch the order, whoops, don't want that, go away, bye, okay, uh, or if you have this and this other number is not included, notice both of this symbol and this symbol are not included, so this would be considered open. So here we have all four types taken care of, there is no half open unbounded interval. You can only have half open if it's a bounded interval. Okay, so take note of those. So let's go ahead and uh, do an example and see if you can tell me uh, which is which. So I'm going to turn to your book here. Um, ba -ba 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 -ba. Okay, so let's look at, here we have negative 3 and 4, the interval between negative 3 and 4. Now first off, I need to choose, is it bounded or unbounded? Because both of these are numbers, there's no infinity, I know it's bounded. Okay, so that's the first choice, bounded or unbounded. Only after you've done that can you look at these. Okay, we have one side that's open, one side that's closed, so this would be a half open interval. Okay, so that would be a half open interval. Um, let's take a look at another one here. What about this? Negative uh, six to infinity. Okay, again, the first choice is bounded or unbounded. Because infinity is involved, it's unbounded. 
And then the only thing you have to look at then is this symbol here. If it's included, it's closed. If it's not included, it's open. So is this closed or open? So this is included. So this would be a closed, unbounded interval. Now, these numbers here are the endpoints. Uh, notice here we only have one endpoint. It's negative 6. Infinity is not an endpoint because endpoint uh, infers or implies that it ends, and infinity never ends, so you only have one endpoint in this scenario. Okay? So, um, yeah, we'll see you in class.